Welcome to Season 3, Episode 2 of The Tradition of Excellence, featuring our two alumni that work in FHS Student Services, Ms. Klassen and Ms. Donovan. I really enjoyed hearing about their experiences and pastimes as a former student here at Frankfurt High School, and we hope you do too. Hello and welcome back to another Tradition of Excellence. I have with you today two people, not just one. That's double the power, double the fun. I have with me two alumni, Miss Donovan and Miss Classen. Now, let's get into the meat potatoes of this interview with Miss Donovan. What did you used to do as a Frankfurt Hot Dog? Um, thank you, Connor. I was in theater. I did Academic Bowl, I did Spell Bowl, DECA, FCOM, Yearbook, just a wide array of things. Okay. You know, I want to get more into this. You said you did uh, F-Bowl. What is that? F-Com. Um, it was freshman kickoff mentoring. So oh. the juniors and seniors would walk incoming freshmen around, show them the ropes of high school and make it a little less scary. Not gonna, that, um, that doesn't sound like it would be very fun. I'm not going to be honest. It's just like you, it's just you prowl around a bunch of kids. Whoa, what is this? And they're like, that's just a chair. We were there in case they had questions mm. and felt like they actually had somebody okay. their age they could talk to. Nah, you know, that's reasonable. I respect that. Yeah. You know, let's go on to question numero dos, which is two if you don't speak Spanish. Um, what did you do after graduating high school? I got my associate's degree in medical assisting. I also was certified for phlebotomy and medical billing and coding. I did that for a few years. COVID hit. I had a kid that had a weakened immune system, so we stopped working in the medical profession, and now here I am, registrar at Frankfurt High School to answer all of your needs. <laughs> yeah, that definitely sounds like a job. Um, so, I'm sorry if I uh, have to go back on the subject, so like, I'm so sorry I had to deal with that during COVID about you have to change jobs. But if you don't mind me asking more in depth of did he fall ill with something and that's why? No, it was my daughter and she was born that way. Oh, okay. She just, her sugar process is a little too fast for anything. So her getting sick is usually a ER trip or two. That doesn't sound very sweet. No. Um, so I guess back with this, with the final question. Sorry, I have to go a little quick here. You're fine. Um, what would you tell your younger self what to do now? Um, if I was talking to me in high school, I would say scholarships are not stupid. Apply for any and all that you can because college is super expensive. And the less you have to pay over time, the better. Yeah, that's right, kids. If you don't want your wallets to cry, so you better cry right now and do those right now. Anywho, let's do round two with Miss Classen over Hello. here. Yeah, that's right. You're going to have to deal with these questions now. Okay, you know. Started right around here. What did you do in high school? Um, I did a little bit of everything in high school. I did FCOM. I was the color guard captain. Um, I did student council. Um, I was on homecoming court. Um, one of my favorite things that I did is I was in um, hot dog television. And my senior year, our teacher, Dale Snotty at the time, broke his arm. So I got to actually teach the class for a little bit and spend some time teaching some younger kids about hot dog television and what that meant and what we did nice you know i'm glad you could land a hand to him in those trying times um so how different was it back then to do hgtv than it is now because you know time yeah time i mean it's been almost 20 years it's really different now i mean we didn't have green screens we didn't have this nice setup we were up the stairs where the health room is now um, we still did radio broadcasts where we had to do a whole hour-long set of music that we had to play. Um, we spent a lot of time during the morning announcements, and everyone played it live right then. We didn't record it and put it out later, so um, it was really interesting. We had a lot of really good times, but it is very, very different with the technological advances that we've seen. Wow. 20 years ago, that is older than I am and most people in this <laughs> Thank room. You. Thank you so Anywho, much. Anywho, you know, going around to question number two here. What what did you do after high school? Um, after high school, I went to IU at first, and I was going to do radio broadcasting or 
potentially graphic design. I loved what I did here. Um, but then I changed my mind a few times and then I decided to move home. I had my first son and then I went back to school and I got an associate's degree from Ivy Tech in human services. And I went back again to Indiana Wesleyan University for my bachelor's degree in human services and my master's degree in school counseling. Hmm. Sad to hear you had to leave us here doing broadcast, but it sounds like you picked a career path that you do enjoy. I did. So, you know, I guess change isn't always so bad, even if it's this. Um, you know, let's end it off here uh, with this final question. What would you tell your younger self? Um, I would say if I had to tell my younger self anything, it would be to kind of let go of the standards that people set on you a little bit earlier. Um, I spent a lot of time trying to be what everyone wanted us to be, but I think that as you get older, you start to let that go and you just let more of yourself shine. And I would say do that younger. I spent a lot of years wasting time trying to be someone else. And now I'm me in all of this glory and it's great. Well, you know, I feel like that's a lesson anyone can really learn here. Um, yeah. So, you know, that's it for Nutrition F Excellence today with two very special guests here. Yeah. Uh, with Miss Donovan, class of 2028. 2008. <laughs> I said, okay, never mind. And I mean, Miss Classen, class of 2009. Yeah, that's right. I was zero and one when they graduated. Anywho, hope you guys are having a nice day, hot dogs. And I'll see you guys next time.